Yo, what's going on gamers and welcome back to the consortium. I hope all of you had a great Thanksgiving weekend. I had a great one. Unfortunately with the holidays things got a little hectic, but I'm back and I appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about what I'd like to see in the future of Fortnite Battle Royale. Obviously this is going to be a very opinionated video because obviously it's some things I like to see. There are some things I think that are necessary, but keep that in mind as I go through these. You're gonna agree with some of them, you're gonna disagree with some of them, you might be impartial to some of them, but I just think it's good to keep this kind of discussion going, to keep the game going in the direction that we would all like to see it. So with that being said, let's jump into it. First thing I would like to see is I'd like to see all the headshot multipliers be taken back a little bit. They've already done that with ARs in this last hotfix. They brought back the headshot multiplier on the uh, assault rifles to lower their damage output a little bit, which I think is a good push in the right direction. But I definitely think it needs to be done for all weapons. It just seems like their guns are so powerful in this game that you can literally, even with full shields, knock somebody down with two shots. Maybe that's the intention of the developers. Maybe it's not, but I would like to see gunfights be a little more based on the skill rather than I'm jumping in the air, I happen to hit a headshot, happen to one-shot the guy, and it's over. Again, I already know there are people that disagree with me on this one because of people that I play with, that I've talked with, but I definitely would like to see some changes in that arena. Next, I would like to see some kind of movement change in the game. Uh, let me explain a little bit what I mean. So, I know there's not going to be vehicles. I don't think they need to add vehicles. The map is not big enough to really do that. Maybe in the future, if they have a new map that's bigger, vehicles will work its way into the game. But it would be cool if they added something like, I don't know, I guess you could still call it a vehicle, but maybe like a bike or skates or, you know, something that fits into the play style of the game. And maybe it makes you move a little bit faster or maybe it allows you to move in a more unique way. Like maybe you could have an item that would allow you to scale a mountain without having to build stairs or maybe walk across the water without being slowed down. I mean, obviously there are just a few examples, but it would be kind of fun to see some unique movement in the game. To follow up on that one, talking about unique abilities, I would like to see this come in a future update if possible. I don't know if this could be done, or maybe it needs to be done with a new map, but to see some kind of item or some kind of ability, I don't know how it would be done, that would allow you to alter the terrain. Maybe you could put up a little mountain somewhere. Maybe you could, and when I say a mountain, I mean like a hill, like a little thing, not something that's like massive. Or maybe you could dig underneath the terrain a certain amount and kind of build like a little bit of an underground base. Something that you could either pop out of that's hidden, almost like you're, you are your own trap. Again, I haven't fleshed this one out completely in my mind. It just sounded kind of like a cool idea if maybe you could alter things other than what you're building. Like maybe you could put down some trees, you could put down some bushes to make an area look different. I don't know exactly, and it may not work. It was just an idea that came through my head, or it could be a great update if they did it correctly, obviously. I don't have those answers. I'm just hoping that they listen to this and see something cool that they could do with the game. The next one isn't so much something that I would like to see added to the game itself, but a game mode added to the game. I don't know if it would actually be considered a game mode, but it'd be kind of interesting if they had something where, let's say you had private lobbies, which is going to be another one I'll talk about later, but if you had a private lobby and you could choose something like only splodes, so basically it was just people running around with rocket launchers, or you could choose only sniper rifles, so it was just a sniping game. Just something to make it interesting and fun. Um, that would obviously only work if there were private servers. Uh, again, that'll be my next topic is private servers. I hope they add private servers to the game so you can do interesting things like what I just talked about. Some other interesting things you could do in private servers are adding larger teams. So let's say instead of a 4v4, you have a 10v10v10v10. 10 v 10 v 10. Or maybe you have a 50 versus 50. You guys kind of get the idea where I'm coming at. I would just like to see some more unique things added to the Fortnite Battle Royale. As it stands, great game. Easily my most played game right now and my current favorite game. So even if they left it how it was, I would still play the game. I'm just very interested in seeing developers do things unique. I would like to see something different. I know it's very hard for them as developers to do things that are different from what gamers are used to. Because a lot of gamers, when something new happens, they like to complain. But I think the Fortnite devs have done a great job dealing with that. And they've added a lot of unique gameplay mechanics with the Fortnite Battle Royale. And I think they're going to continue to impress us with new and unique additions to this game. 
I appreciate all the hard work they've put in. I think they're great developers. They've done a great job of keeping us up to date on what their plans are and what they want to do with the game. And there you have it, guys. That's what I think. I obviously have some more ideas, but I don't want to make the video too long. I'll probably do a series two in a week or two from now. Again, I appreciate all of you who are watching these videos. It definitely encourages me to keep making them. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. Please hit the sub button. It always helps me out. Again, appreciate you all, and I hope you guys all have a great one.